Hey everybody, this is Dead Winter Dead with another Battlefield 4 video for you. Now this is kind of an addendum to the last video I just posted, the uh, the patch notes. I didn't want to make a long, st stupidly long 20 minute video, so I, I divided it up into two videos. This one's a little bit smaller. Again, this, this footage is just random footage, so you don't even have to pay attention to it. You can just shut off your screen and listen to my voice. February is going to be Player Appreciation Month. DICE is uh, going to be putting out some stuff for us, some, some swag. And uh, their reasoning is, you know, you know, thank you for supporting Battlefield. Thank you for buying premium. Thank you for supporting us. And I think it's kind of a, kind of an outreach thing. It, it may be something that they're doing to kind of quell the disappointment in how they've dealt with the release of this game. I know that there are still pretty much pretty much every player who is not an Xbox player, myself included, is wondering where the hell is Second Assault, and I think this is one of those things that kind of just say, hey, uh, you know, look at this, you know, the kind of the carrot on the stick thing, you know, look at this juicy carrot. Don't worry about Second Assault. We'll get to it. Um, but all of my speculation aside, let's get into some of the things they're going to be doing. Some of it is kind of exciting. So, uh, first of all, what they're going to be doing is, <coughs> excuse me, every single day that you log into the game. If you log into the game, you don't have to play, just log into Battle Log. You will receive either a bronze or silver battle pack. Um, the battle packs contain, you know, XP boosts and soldier camos and stuff like that. DICE is claiming that normally it would take you 30 hours to, to get all of, the, all of these battle packs and all you have to do is log in every day to get them. I'm not sure how they came up with the math on that, but whatever. It's free stuff. Free stuff just for logging in. They're also going to be giving us some shortcut bundles. Now, in Battlefield 3, they had shortcut bundles that you had to pay for through Origin. These apparently will be uh, just a free download. Uh, basically, if... Um, if you own the game, you'll, you'll be able to get a free download. I think the the one that everybody is getting is going to be an unlock for all the grenades and, and an unlock for all the pistols. Now, additionally, if you are a premium uh, Battlefield 4 premium user, you will get another set of unlocks that will unlock all the DMRs and all of the shotguns. Now, normally, I don't care for shortcuts. I think people should have to unlock stuff on their own. But you have to admit that the shotguns and the DMRs are just a hassle. I don't really play with the DMRs at all because there's not one that really interests me. Uh, one of my favorite weapons in BF3 was a G3A3 and that is that is just glaringly missing in BF4. I wish they would bring that back. And maybe they will. Maybe it'll be a future weapon. But right now, it's it's the DMR class is just not something that I care to use at the moment. So getting them all unlocked for free might be kind of nice. Shotguns, I don't use a whole lot either, but you know what? If, if, if I want to, I'll have them there. So that'll be a nice unlock as well. But like I said, the DMRs and the shotgun um, unlock bundles will only be available to Battlefield 4 premium members. And I'm not sure exactly how it's going to work, if it's going to be an automatic download, like automatically applied in a patch, or if you'll have to log into Origin and, you know, just kind of uh, follow some some links to a free download or something like that. I, I'm, I'm not sure how it's going to work, but I'm sure DICE will release those details when February starts. We will also get quite a few uh, double XP weekends, which is very, very typical. At this point, most of you who've been playing since the beginning of the game are, you know, are pretty much, you know, leveled up. So double XP doesn't really matter unless you're trying to get like, you know, your all time, high record or something for a score in a single match or something like that but that is good for the newer players there will also be there's also some news of community missions these are similar to uh, your friend missions that you can kind of issue to each other uh, it says here on battle log it will probably be something like grab a set number of dog tags during a specific game mode or a specific duration of time and you'll get some sort of, you know, ex additional swag. Who knows? There's not too much detail on it. Uh, they also said that there's probably going to be some what they call dice developer talks, which are increased uh, developer interaction and transparency on how we work 
uh, basically in, in, in the studio. So, I'm not sure how these will actually play out, but, uh, you know, DICE, the DICE devs will host several interviews and, and some kind of community interaction things so that we can just kind of get a feel for what's coming and, and you know, the work that they do put into this. I know uh, a lot of people have been given Battlefield and, and DICE specifically a lot of flack about way they the way they handled the uh, the the release and, and and the rollout of all this and you know about second assault and the net code and all this stuff but you know 99.9 .9 of us are not software developers of 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 any by any stretch of the imagination I'm sure there are a few of us that play who really understand the ins and outs of what it goes in of what it takes to uh, create a triple A title but uh, I do not I do not know that. I can only imagine that it is a tremendous, a tremendous undertaking. And uh, you know, to have all of these moving parts in a game and to get them to work right consistently must just be just a ridiculous undertaking. Am, am I disappointed with, with some of the things that, that Dice has done? Yeah, you know, just you know, like the rest of us, you know, I'm a little bit disappointed. But that just comes from uh, that, that really just comes out of a love of the game, you know. <laughs> I, I love this franchise so much that I don't want to see it fail. And I'm so excited for Second Assault that I want to get my hands on it, you know. So, you know, I'm, I'm, it's really more of a selfish, childish thing. Uh, and and I'm, I'll be the first to admit it, you know. I, I want to play more Battlefield. Where's my Battlefield? I'm like the Battlefield cookie monster. Um, you know, me eat Battlefield. So... That's really where a lot of my frustration comes from. It has nothing to do with the fact that, you know, I hate this game and I and I hate the developers and I hate dice and all this stuff. It, it, it's nothing like that at all. It's just, it's really an excitement. I'm, I'm pumped up for this title to, to push on. I'm pumped up for the DLCs. And I want to see this franchise succeed because I want to see more Battlefield in the future. So that's that. That's really where that, where, where my stance is on that. Anyway, guys. Remember to log in every single day. Um, just log in a battlefield. You don't have to play. Log in, and you'll get either a silver or a bronze battle pack for free, just for logging in. And uh, you know, see if you can get in on some of these double XP weekends. Try your hand at some of the community missions, as well as uh, you know, if you're interested in how things go down behind the scenes, get involved in some of these dice developer talks. Anyway, guys, that is my brief rundown on February Player Appreciation Month. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Dead Winter Dead. Thanks for watching.